Welcome. This is the Algebra 1 end of course practice test number 3, question number 25. Does that be any longer? Um, the question says a student conducts an experiment by suspending X kilograms of weight on a vertical spring. So basically, we've got this whole, it would help if I had the pen on, wouldn't it? So I've got this spring, the worst spring drawn ever, and then I've got this weight on it. And we're going to say that the spring itself is uh, 430 centimeters in length. And I'm assuming that would be when the uh, spring is not being stretched out at all. The student finds that the spring stretches 0.5 centimeters per kilogram, which is an important point, and we'll get to why in a second. Which graph best represents the relationship between the weight on the spring in kilograms and the length of the spring in centimeters? Now, I'm going to look at my axis labels. So I've got weight here. So as you can see, as weight increases, what story do I want it to tell? This would be length here on my y-axis. So hopefully, as I, sorry, the hiccups there. Um, hopefully, as my weight increases, I would imagine that would make this spring become longer. So I'm going to start out at 430, and they all do that. That's good. All at 430 centimeters. But I'm going to increase the length of my spring. If I put heavy weight on the end of a spring and it gets smaller, uh, I don't even know how that works. So anytime you have a, an inverse relationship, weight goes up, length goes down, that doesn't make any sense at all. So that's out. If I took away weight, then yeah. But in this case, weight goes up, length goes down. So that one's out as well. So I'm making a comparison between A and C here. The important thing that I had underlined here is that points five centimeters per kilogram, which means that for every kilogram, it will increase the length of the spring 0.5 centimeters, which means it's doing it consistently. If it had some other relationship where if you added a little bit over time, it would get a little bit bigger and a little bit bigger and a little bit bigger, and then all of a sudden it'd be kind of long, you know, you might have a different type of graph than a nice line here. This one sort of says that it gets longer a lot and then it starts being basically around the same. But the relationship that they have in place for us based on what they said is that each time I add 0.5, or each time I add a kilogram, it goes up 0.5. So I add one, it goes up 0.5, I add one, it goes up 0.5. So it's a linear relationship. So my answer to number 25 is A. So make that sort of comparison to see if what happens when one increases or the other increase, you can usually eliminate two immediately and then start to think, well, is it a constant change or does it change differently as time goes on? Uh, and I think that you'll get the right answer on these types of questions.